All right, here we are with... Colin, Joy, Leila, Atif, Mia, Sarah, Justin. Let me ask you this one question. And I have one question for you, Joy. Sarah, I have one amazing question for you. I have one question. Are you ready for it? And we're going to ask them a real, very important question. We got love that will never... Every day, I am tormented by the banana. I feel its yellow nutrition penetrate my soul. I cannot live, I cannot sleep, that banana knows. Why did I have to do those interviews with the banana? Why? Why every day people want more of the banana? Enough is enough! Hey guys, just letting you know there is absolutely no gimmick in this video whatsoever. No gimmick at all. N nothing at all. Actually, yeah, look, there is. Let's, let's go. Hi, welcome to the Harvey Hook Guide to Open Relationships. If you're someone who's interested in open relationships, this is going to be interesting for you. But if you're someone who is, you know, you're like Captain Monogamous, this is also good for you because it's really good to understand not only the relationship spectrum in general, but what specifically is good for you. And when you understand the whole picture, it really helps you understand what's good for you. You see, here we are on the streets of Melbourne. We're gonna be interviewing real people about their real relationships in not a gimmicky way whatsoever. Not so, there is no jokes. We are completely serious. And we're gonna be talking about open relationships in a way that you have never heard of before. You see, there are actually a variety of different kinds of open relationships that exist. There's polyamory, polyfuckery, uh, I'm, I'm too scared to committery, and also multi-dating. When it comes to polyamory, what that is actually, it's actually being able to have multiple relationships, whether they're open, whether or not. Now in the future in this video, we're going to be talking about the different kinds of rules that exist. But for now, I want you to understand when it comes to polyamory, it is almost like you have multiple exclusive relationships. And that is good for some people. And also for other people, they freak the fuck out. And if you're the kind of person who hears that and says, no, that's not for me. Well, guess what? That's probably not for you. Now, the next kind of open relationship is polyfuckery. Now, polyfuckery is where people are saying they're in an open relationship just because they want to sort of mess around. Now, this is very similar to what we're about to say, but when it comes to polyfuckery, it's sort of like you're saying you're in an open relationship and you do have the love that exists that you would have in a more exclusive relationship, but you're using the, the nature of an open relationship to sort of justify why it's okay to mess with other people. Now, when it comes to rules, and we do have to talk about rules in a second, it's really important to recognize what rules you do have in your relationship. And when it comes to polyfuckery, which is saying, remember, it's saying that you're in an open relationship just so you can sort of have the rules to mess around with, it's one of the most dangerous open relationships that you can have because you're not truly being honest to yourself and not truly being honest to what you really need. And now this really blends into, well, I'm just not ready to settle down already, which is... The kind of relationship where you're afraid to admit what you actually want can be the most dangerous relationships that you are in. And if you're someone who's in a relationship with this kind of person, you'll be able to tell because they will be, they're almost afraid of, not commitment, but things that show signs of commitment. For example, meeting friends, uh, developing habits together, uh, spending time together in certain ways. And you'll be able to tell because if you talk about being open and connecting with that person and actually and actually expressing yourself that you would and that you would expect to do in your most exclusive relationship, what happens is, is that it really is a sign that the person is using the relationship to sort of, you know what the phrase is like, be half in, half out. It's sort of like you're dipping your pool in the water and that's not bad. You have to remember, it's not bad because sometimes that's what people need. If they are afraid of commitment and they want more commitment, what they'll do is they'll experiment with that style of relationship, which is being afraid to admit what they actually want by sort of saying, I'm with you and not with you. This is what people most commonly refer to as like fuck boys or fuck girls or all that kind of stuff. But when you're in that state, remember, it's not bad. None of this is bad. It's just what you want and what you need because it might be what you need at the time or it might be just that you need to sort of be in a relationship with someone and feel free that you have the ability to do whatever you want. But I say it's the most dangerous kind of relationship because it inspires people to continue to not tell the truth. And when we're not telling the truth about who we are and what we want, that's when we get a little bit dangerous. Now, the last kind is probably the most wholesome kind. And this is for people who really don't know how to be in a relationship or really are interested in experimenting or really people who are new to the whole dating world. This is the idea of 
multi-dating. Now, multi-dating is where you're dating multiple people. And honestly, the best style of multi-dating is to be, how do I put this into words, uh, is to be fucking honest. It's that when you date someone for the, for the first time, you're like, hey, I'm actually dating other people. Is that okay with you? Let them know that you're dating other people, not to just sort of realize it. Some people think that they have to lie in order to date multiple people because they're just trying to see what's out there, trying to play the field, or even have a little bit fun, or just realize that they're an attractive person. That's really what comes down to at the end. Some people, they want that. So it's sort of like, if you're doing the whole multi-dating path, multi-dating is the idea that you're dating multiple people for the sake of dating multiple people. And again, it's not bad. Some people will put their nose up and say, hey, that's fucked up. Why are you doing that? But really, truly, really, if it's what you need, it's what you need. And no one can take that away from you unless you decide that it's bad. You see, when it comes to any form of relationship, there are things that we call rules or no rules. And honestly, I think this is a lot better of a paradigm when it comes to looking at relationships than say, uh, open or closed. Most people say open or closed, and that actually closes off a lot of the rules because even that language inspires that it is locked or unlocked. Instead, I want you to consider the idea of rules or agreements and no rules or no agreements. For example, in the multi-dating space, there might be no rules. Um, the reason why I say this is because some people might choose to have no rules and still be closed. For example, you can say, hey, you know, we don't have any rules in our relationship. You can be with as many people as you want to be. It does not matter. That's the rules. But they can still be closed because they can choose not to exercise that. While on the other hand, you can have rules. We are only together. This is you and me. We're only going to be together. We're going to only be with each other. But you can have those rules and those exclusivities, which most people are looking for, which is the, the current social paradigm. And what happens is, is you can still be, you can still have other people invited in. For example, you can go to swingers, you can go to a different events and stuff like that. Uh, you can be more sexually active and explore and invite people into the bedroom, which is an example of having rules, but still being open, which I think is a much more beneficial way. Now, some people might say, but rules are bad. Rules are fucking how we run our world. Without rules, without standards, without understanding who we are and who, what we exist for, we will never truly be able to like exist with each other. It's like, how do you know where you stand with someone unless they tell you how you have to operate around them? So rules, instead of rules, I want you to think about standards. Like standards being, okay, this is how I am, this is how I feel, and this is how I want to be treated, which is a lot better than saying, rules, we're locked in together, this is how it is, this is how it should be. And pretty much there is one more thing that is worth truly understanding. And that is truly, for anyone who really wants an open relationship or who's thinking of exploring it, or well, fuck it, if you're someone who is not about open relationships at all, and it's something that you're interested in, sort of, you just wanna get it around, this is what you have to understand. And that is very simply, you see, the thing that I really want you to understand, regardless of if you're exclusive or open or what, whatever the fuck you wanna be, and truly, really, it does not matter, the most important thing is recognizing that if you're going to have an open relationship, before you try and explore a relationship with other people, you have to get the first one right. The amount of times that I've seen as your coach, right, I'm here as your motherfucking coach, that people have tried to do open relationships and the thing that ruined it was that the, the person that they were first with didn't fucking feel special or they didn't feel like included or they didn't really feel like they were part of it. That is the thing that tears up relationships. So what I'm saying here, that no matter what happens, and this is the thing that makes this entire video worthwhile, worth this time that you've spent watching, and I'm sure it was really good because I know the stuff that we produce and you watch is fucking good, but the thing that actually makes it worthwhile is making sure you get the first one right. Understand relationships, get to know them. That was a bird. Get to know relationships, recognize relationships, know what your relationship with love is, understand your relationship with sex, connect with one person. Get that right. And if you can't get that right, there is no way that you're gonna get multiple relationships right. You just gotta get the first one right because only then truly do you have a foundation to invite more love. Now, if that's the path that you wanna go down, great. If you don't wanna go down this, also great. Who cares? The last thing that I wanna share with you is working with me. If you are interested, you, what you can do, if you're ever interested in any questions, you have any things that you wanna get answered, you can go to www.gethimhook.com and you can get that out there. You can fucking connect with me. We'll set up a time, we'll talk, it'll be, great and also what I want you to do is uh, subscribe and uh, and also all that crap uh, if you did like this video make sure to leave a like because if you did then I like you and make sure to leave a comment I want you to comment the phrase uh, Harvey is the best because if you do then I know that you watch this video this entire way and that's fucking great so thank you so much for watching and I'll tune into you next week for more latest and greatest of whatever the fuck we do here thank you all right here we are with 
Justine. And? Leila. And we're going to ask them a real, very important question. Are you a human? Yes, I am. Yes, are you a human? Yes. Yes, you heard it here first. Hi, we're here with... Colin. And Atif. And you guys are French? Yeah. Yes, they are yes. French. Let me ask you this one question. I want you to answer the question right into the microphone. Are you guys human? Yes. 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 Absolutely. We heard it here. Hello, my name is Harvey. How are you? Good, thank you. What is your name? Joy. Joy. And I have one question for you, Joy. Are you a human being? Yes. Yes, you heard it here. She's a human. <laughs> Human, human. Yeah, I'm a human. You're a human. Yes, you are a human. Yes, are you? Yay! Hi, we are with Sarah. Sarah, hi, Sarah. I have one amazing question for you. Are you ready to answer the amazing question? Are you a human being? Yes. Oh my God, you heard it here. Hi, we're here with <laughs> Mia. And she does not know the question. The question is, I have one question. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Are you a human? Yes. And she. Is, this so. not, is that a lie? Is that a lie? Are we gonna get the possible? No. Yes. You heard it here! Thank you. Thank you so much. We want to. I don't care if that's too far. Take my hand and let's fly away to another galaxy. Hold me close, I want to feel your love. Together we are free. Just be with me. Just be with me Just be with me